You know that one person that stands on the first tee with a new set of golf clubs and does this? I'm that person today. So I'm here sharing this tea box with Tom. Happy birthday, Tom. Comment down below, happy birthday, Tom. Also, the MP20 MMC. This is a second generation of it. So if you have a second generation of something, it either means the first one was pants or the first one was that good, we decided to create a, another version of it. The MMC is definitely not off the pants pile. About to leave. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away. That will definitely do. Right, mate, MP20, Blade, MMC or HMB. So everyone that watches the channel will know that I currently play the MP18s, a combo set between the SC and the Blade. The only issue I had with the MMC last year was side by side I could see aesthetically a big drop off from the MMC to the SC. Mizuno was saying this year though this has been on a diet. It's much thinner, less offset and I've got to say you can really tell. You actually can. It's quite nerve wracking still stood on the tee with an MMC. Poet and I didn't know it. Oh, it flies so well. If there's one thing Mizuno know what to do, it's how to forge golf clubs. I've been there, I've witnessed this firsthand and it's so hard to not be impressed with the whole production quality and care. As no surprise, the MMC is green foam forged from 1025E select mild carbon steel. Just a sec. <laughs> Come on! There's always one. So what's really different with this new MMC is there's a Kinder Egg inside. Kids don't try and open it, there's not a toy inside. There is, however, a copper underlay, which we saw years ago in legendary Mizuno irons. We hit the blade, we've just reviewed the MP20. Feels unbelievable, it sounds fantastic, and this seems to be on the same path. But, in true owl fashion, I feel like we really need to give this underlay a workout. Oh, get close. The Santa Bean. Let's go and look. So, to put this into context, very, very uphill shot. I knifed it with a left to right wind. We still have RPM. Love it. So as soon as you hear the word copper, everyone's like, I wasn't speeding. But in actual fact, this copper is actually designed to probably give you a bit more of a speeding ticket rather than slow you down. Right, four iron, a long way away, windy uphill over the Grand Canyon, easy. Oh, did you hear that? Don't know where that's landed. What do you mean it was short? It's pin eye. Rude. Well, it's not short, and it's not on the green, and it's not in the hole. So, it must be beastie, and yes, it's in the bunker. So that was much longer than what I thought it would be, from about two, three, five away yards, that is. So I'm gonna go a little bit further back, see what we've got, and see if it, how it reacts into the green if we hit the green. Don't you even think about it. Leave the ball alone. To be fair, looking at those back, I didn't think any of those were gonna make it, but in two, one, two, three, four, out of five, which I think, you know, is pretty reasonable. I'm watching you, mate. Yeah. Beg your pardon? It's 
Sting a song. Sting a song. Sting a song. <laughs> Sting a song. I don't know why I don't play that shot more often. It's quite weird because I keep going into the bag and picking the blade up thinking that it's the MMC. It is very, very similar in looks, especially in the bag. I like that, that's a good thing. So the good test was no, no copper pennies flew out of the piggy bank. It's still very much in one piece, which is fantastic. Obviously it's Mizuno forged. Why would it be any different? So with this being an MMC iron, copper isn't the only material getting some air time. We have a titanium muscle pad throughout the set in the four to seven irons. I'm pretty sure that's right. <laughs> Could be wrong. Then we've got an anti-badger destroying 12 gram tungsten weight situated lower in the head to get the ball elevated. Whilst the eight to pitching wedge features a second titanium pad to help achieve a thinner sole for a better wedge blend. Hold. Another absolutely outstanding day at the Joondalup Resort. Never a bad day here. Guys, Team Al, if you mention my name when you call up to book or at the desk, special discount of being charged double. So as you know, this is going to be more compact than the previous model, just to blend in with that MP20 set so you can mix and match whichever irons you want to. One of those, one of those, one of those. If you're like me and you're a face explorer, meaning that you like to visit parts of the face for experimental reasons, then this MMC is going to give you a bit more stability over the blade. So with that, it will help with your voyage to the Bermuda strike angle. That was horrendous. I'm going to attempt to hit a shot now. My eyes are burning after that last joke. <laughs> Can't see a thing. Stinger. Is that what someone said? Okay. Oh, behave. The stability comes from the earlier mentioned tungsten weight, which spreads the weight from the toe to the heel, bigger range across the entire head for a greater MOI. Always like that, don't we? We love a bit of MOI action. Get this in with it. Can't talk today. So, par three. Reasonable distance for this. I'm thinking that if we get this in within six feet, I'll give a set of these away. So I'm going to aim over there into that house. Okay. Oh, shit. That's close. Right in the heart of the green. Played it a little bit too easy. Straight at it. If I hold this, I'll give it away. How about that? Oh my goodness. Nearly. We'll keep trying. So we'll be getting the numbers in the curve net at some point in the video, but specs wise, we've got a seven iron, 32 degrees. The shaft, stock steel shaft is a KBS. S taper, right hand only. Sorry, lefties. That's interesting. I've got my SC MP18 here in the four iron and I've got the MMC four iron here. And to be fair, slightly wider sole in the MMC. There isn't that much in it. I think that's fantastic. It's going to be an easy transition for me. Slightly thinner top line, I'd say MMC. Part five from the back sticks. Four iron and a seven iron. Is par possible? Of course it is. If I birdie this, we'll have a giveaway on irons. Oh, Terry, that is moving a lot. Okay, so that's now unreachable with two four irons because of that horrendous shot. Sorry, Tommy, you've, uh, you're going to have to walk, mate. Good lad. Really, how to explain this range is just hard. It's just unbelievable. It, the feel, overall performance, and the crafting around this is just, again, fantastic. It really is. Go and get fitted, because if you're after distance, this range probably isn't for you. If you've already got the ball speed, and you need the feel, and you need the workability, then this is definitely something to look at. Get fitted, try it out, and see how it performs for you. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button and follow me on social media. The links are below. Ciao for now.